Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at the other figure within the fourth wave of the Gundam Universe line. This time it's going to be on the God Gundam. So go ahead, strap up, and let's see if this thing is a drop it, a watch it, or a cop it. Let's get on with it. And this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to pick up this figure or any others within the Gundam Universe line, you can go visit their website and put that slash Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. So, on to the review. Alright guys, so just looking at the packaging first, really, I mean, there's nothing going on with the packaging. Uh, the front cover art looks pretty good, the back, it, it is what it is. But that's not why we're here. We're not here for package art. We're not here for the quality of the packaging. We're here to know the quality of the figure. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, it's bad. Now before I get too far ahead of myself, let's just talk about some of the detailing. The detailing is actually really good. There's lots of just like panel lines and just like grooves and other little like, you know, etched in parts on this figure, which looks great. I don't mind that whatsoever. Um, the, you'll see what the problems are going to be once we get into the articulation. Uh, but overall, it looks okay. There's a lot of flashes of plastic. So what I mean flash, it's like whenever it's kind of getting molded or getting put together, it's like they don't bother to cut the excess plastic. So you got like all these little nubs all over a figure. And it's just, I know that's kind of like the norm, but it looks so ugly. And this is the only one I've really noticed this on. But yeah, I mean, when we talk about detailing, it looks good. You could definitely panel line it or do some painting or whatever. And the color separation is fine enough. I really don't have any problems with those areas. So let's get on to the articulation. First, you're gonna have that ball jointed head. Then you can move the arms back and forth and all around because they're gonna be on ball joints. Shoulders can move up and down. Bicep swivel. Two points of articulation for the elbow. Hands are gonna be on a ball joint. Body's gonna have a great amount of movement. It's just going to be able to twist all over the place. Now coming to the skirts, both front and sides, they basically peg in much like every other Gundam Universe uh, figure. The problem with this one is that this is a fighter unit and you really want like dynamic poses, right? You're not gonna get that much with this figure. It's, you try and do splits, everything pops off. You try and move the leg forward, pops off. It's it's really just bad. It's really bad design. I wish they would have done something maybe a little bit extra special for this one because they know that the God Gundam is really, it's, its highlight is poses. It does a lot of, you know, martial arts poses and stances. They, why couldn't they just, you know, put that in this model? I mean, well, this figure, sorry. I just don't get it. I really wish that this thing would have had better range of movement that didn't make things pop off. But the hips are going to be out of ball joint. 90 degree bend for the knee. Foot can move back and forth. Ankle armor can move. Now you're also going to have the wings and those are basically just going to be able to go up and down. Now onto the accessories. Honestly, you're really not getting too much. The first thing we're going to look at is the burning hand. It's kind of more of a soft, like rubbery part. So you don't really have to worry about it breaking. Um, and then you can move the gauntlet forward. You can you know bring up these little like gauntlet, like, claw parts. I really don't know the terminology of these, but you can move that forward, lift those up, and you can perform the, you know, shining finger, burning, eruption, um, you know, whatever that final attack was called. But it looks okay enough, but the problem is that you're really not going to be getting this into any dynamic poses. It, I really tried. I tried everything I could, but these were just the best I can really do. Now for the centerpiece, you can actually take this off. Now when you do, you can put the King of Hearts emblem right in the center, and then you're gonna take the, basically another type of cockpit, you know, open hatch, but you're gonna take it and it's gonna go horizontal and just leaving it open. And honestly, I don't think it looks that great. It's okay enough, but without like all the other accessories that could have came with this, maybe like the little rainbow wing for the back, um, maybe like a secondary uh, burning hand, Maybe in an effect part, that would've been cool, but you know, once again, this is like a $20 figure, $25 figure, so yeah, yeah they're, they're really cheap with this. And you also get a stand adapter. Now for comparisons, I'm actually gonna skip that because it's a six inch figure and there's really no use in comparisons with you know things that 
I mean, it's a little bit shorter than the high resolution model, but y'all know the high resolution model is such a better kit overall. This is obviously a figure. Uh, so it's kind of like what you really want to do. Do you want to be a figure collector? Do you want a figure that's something you could play with? Or do you want a high-end collectible model kit that you could build, possibly paint, and it's going to look way better and, and it's just going to have way more accessories. And speaking of accessories, this doesn't even come with beam sabers. They're molded into the side skirts and it does not even have a beam saber effect part. Nothing like that. So this is getting like a lot of thumbs down from me right now. <sighs> Just, I'm going straight into final thoughts. This is a big disappointment. Tall Geese, at least, it does what it needs to. It's a, um, doesn't need to be high dynamic in poses. It looks really good when you do pose it, though. A lot of the stuff doesn't get in the way, like the side skirts. They're actually pretty good for where they're placed. They're on ball joints. Don't really have any issues with those. Uh, most of the Tall Geese is actually just a really good figure, and I like that. But then messing with this, I really just felt disappointed. I I really wanted this to be in the same kind of realm. And maybe it is. Maybe I'm just like, you know, heated because of the side skirts and I'm heated because of the lack of accessories. You know, it does have good detail. That's a plus for it. But in all honesty, guys, this is just my this is my review. And I'm I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on it. This is a $20, $25 figure, depending on where you live. Could be even more. You know, it could be $30, depending on where you live. So for that much, I mean, I really would just say go with the high grade. You're just going to get better quality with the high grade model. It's a smaller scale or smaller height overall, which is fine. But if you don't want that, then go with the master grade. Master Asia reviewed that kit, and it's a really good kit. It holds up extremely well. It has a very unique inner frame, and I just I think it's a really fantastic kit overall. I don't even know if I'm awake or asleep right now. So get with that. That's about thirty bucks, maybe thirty-five at the most. But you could probably actually get it in the twenties if you go to like Mandarake or even Amiami. This, on the other hand, is none of those things. This is not fun to play with. It's not a fantastic figure by any means. It's not even a mediocre figure, in my opinion. Sure, it can look okay in a very basic standing pose on your shelf, but I'm not here to have mediocre basic standing poses on my shelf. I'm here to have presence. And if you don't notice, I have like a Battle Alita Angel a uh, Hot Toys figure because I'm starting to move closer to better looking toys. That's personally, you know, me. That's that's my personal views. So for someone who just wants to slap something on the shelf to represent G Gundam, to, to represent their childhood, sure, get this. But in all honesty, guys, I'm going to say this is a drop it. I won't even say it's a watch it. I mean, if you want it for 10 bucks, five bucks, sure. But yeah, I think this is a 100% drop it. But that's it for me, guys. I, I know this is probably not going to have a lot of people rooting on my end. They're probably going to be more in the spectrum of, you know, saying, hey, it's, it's a good figure or, hey, it does something else, which I understand. People have their kind of like own little personal preferences. Um, I, I'm a little bit more uptight when it comes to the products I buy. I want my products to be pretty much top tier. And there's actually a lot of Gashapon stuff like the Metabots. I really love those. They're $8 figures and they're, they come from the little capsule toys. I think those are fantastic. So when I could pay eight bucks for something that's a very small scale, but is loaded with articulation and pretty good quality, you know, when I play with this, I don't feel that same way. But that's just me, guys. That's my review. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and definitely comment what your thoughts are. I want to know what you are thinking about this figure and what are you thinking about the entirety of the Gundam Universe line? We're still missing a few more figures. They did tease, I think, the new Gundam. They teased the Zaku 2, I want to say. And I, I think they might have teased Nataku. I want to say <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen all the little leaks and the different promotional pictures, but uh, there was quite a few leaks of uh, silhouettes that was teased, I think, at Wonderfest last year. So hopefully Wave 5 is going to be much better. I would absolutely love to get New Gundam. New Gundam is definitely one of my top favorite UC suits, and if they can make it really good in a 6-inch scale or 6-inch height, I'm all about it. 
that's all for me guys thanks thanks everyone for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next review uh but yeah sorry guys but i had to do it but bye bye